Hey guys and gals, of course you can see in the background, recently I was get, going green screen crazy, but let me give it a break for now. And um, I just want to talk about this double feature. I, I've seen one of them before, but this is like one of my favorite supernatural shows, Haunting. And I think it's up to its fifth season. I think new episodes can be seen in um, Destination America now. If you have Destination America, check it out. Um, I remember this being on Discovery Channel first. Then they moved it to Animal Planet. I don't know why. And now it's on Destination America. So catch newer episodes. Um, Netflix only had two seasons of it. I wish they showed all the seasons of it. Because it's really good. And of course, this is a feature on Hunter in Georgia and a Hunter in Connecticut. Of course, both of these real life stories was based. Of course, movie, movies have been done about them already. Hunter in Georgia was the recent one. I think it came out last year. Which I like Hunter Connecticut the movie and Hunter Connecticut Georgia. Both movies were good. Well, Hunter Connecticut Part 2 is based on Hunter, Hunter in Georgia. But both movies are good, and that was just the Hollywood version. The Hollywood version brought a little bit of of the story from these two actmen, from the true story of the people that were lived through it, and kind of glamorized it a, bit, a lot. <laughs> Let's put it like that. But um, we get two of the t stories that that's based on it of people that had their paranormal experience with demonic activities, spirits, ghosts. Uh, this is no special features in this, by the way. So let me just say that. And it's based on true events. Yeah, it is based on true events. <laughs> so we can say this now. Um, the story of Hunter in Connecticut, definitely not like the movie version. But it does have, it does talk about who's being on cancer. Never say he was possessed of nothing in the, in the true story version of it. I was to move to Connecticut, you know, try to, because it was close to a hospital where the boy could be treated for cancer. And, um, you know, un unknown activity start going around the house. They realized they living like in a funeral home, which was in the basement. It was kind of crazy. I mean, if I was moving to a house and I thought I have a funeral home in the basement with a funeral home office, like where they do the dead bodies is still intact, I'll be like, are you fucking kidding me? I wouldn't want to live there. But, you know, it shows you what this boy gone through and how the mom had to make the sacrifice to send him, back, send him to the um, hospital while they had to deal with it themselves. And they hire like the warrants to come in the case, of course the famous warrants, and another um and and they team you know how they talk about the experience, and then we got Hunter in Georgia, which if you saw the movie version of it that came out was was just called Hunter Connecticut Two, and um totally different you know a little bit of the concept from the movie version was borrowed from this reactment from the ba or based on the true storyteller of, of like Gordy for example about this family moved in. And then you find out that the two women in the family happen to have psychic power, that they were medium, they were born with it. But they never realized it until later on, or so the scientists told them about it, or the psychics that went to the house to investigate, told them that you have this power, you're going to see this, you're going to stick with it pretty much. You know, you have no choice. You know, you can't get rid of it. Wherever you go, you're going to see spiritual demonic de demonic activities and stuff. And, um, <coughs> you know, it's a family that lived in the house for 10 years and more. And they're still living through with through with it, you know. <coughs> and then you got Heidi, who was the ghost of Gordy. She started growing up, and you know, her mom and dad are having a daughter again. And you know, they and they end up still seeing these activities going on, you know. And they go to church now, and um, they try to find a way to get rid of these spirits once and for all. But you know, at the end of it, you were born with this gift. You're gonna deal with it, pretty much. Type of attitude. <coughs> Sorry. So pretty much what I'm trying to say is that to fast forward, both of these reactment stories are really good. I think these are one of like the most talk about paranormal activity hauntings or um, cases in the world of paranormal. So you definitely want to pick it up even before you see the movie version of them. But definitely check check this out and also check out these paranormal shows. They're pretty good, you know, like Paranormal Witness, Haunting. Which is like my most favorite and ghost adventure on travel channels is pretty cool too. Anyway, peace guys. See you later.